Hi guys, welcome to Luna's Kitchen. I am Luna, and I am so excited to bring you guys today's recipe. Today, we are gonna be making soup jumeau. This dish is so tasty, so flavorful, so amazingly delicious. I love to eat it, but besides that, this dish has such a powerful history. Um, to give you guys a brief history lesson, back in the day, Haiti was colonized and enslaved by France, and the Haitian people, the enslaved Haitian people, were not allowed to drink the soup because it was considered a delicacy. Um, after 12 years of fighting, the Haiti became the first free black nation in the Western Hemisphere on January 1st, 1804. And the formerly enslaved people celebrated their independence by drinking the soup. And it so remains that Haitians everywhere throughout the globe on January 1st, we'll drink the soup as a reminder of that day and to also celebrate our independence. So I am so excited and proud to bring you this dish and show you guys how I like to make my soup jumeau. Guys, let's jump right on. Now to get started, I am cleaning and preparing my meat. Soup jumeau is traditionally historically prepared with beef meat. And so in preparing my meat, I am trimming the fat off, I'm washing it, I am using vinegar, I'm using lime juice, and hot water as well in cleaning and preparing my meat before adding my epis seasoning. I will also include the link to um, how to prepare epis. If you are able to leave your meat to season overnight or at least four hours prior to cooking it, that will really determine the flavor of your soup. While your meat is cooking, you want to go ahead and prepare your squash that you're gonna use for the soup. I'm using two different types of squash. You don't have to, it's not necessary. You can just use one, um, but I will go ahead and list um, the two different types of squash that I used and along with any other ingredients that I used. So I am cutting my squash, peeling it. Be very careful peeling um, the squash. I almost cut my finger clean off because I was being stubborn. I didn't want to use a vegetable peeler. I wanted to use a knife. So be very careful. It's a little bit difficult to cut. Um, and you can also boil the squash. If you find it too difficult to peel, you can boil the squash with the skin on and just remove the skin and peel it off after the squash has boiled. But because I wanted to use the water from the squash in making the soup, I decided to peel the squash, dice it, cut it, and boil it. Now to boil the squash, it really doesn't take long. It takes about 25 minutes. And um, your squash is really soft and it's tender and it's ready to be blended. After blending your squash, go ahead and set it aside and put it aside and now you are going to prepare the rest of your vegetables that are going to go in your soup jumeau. I am using potatoes, I am using some taro roots, I am using some yaria, I am using carrots, celery stick, um, celery leaves, and I am using half a leek. You can go ahead and add whatever vegetables suit you and your preference. I know that some people add plantains to it, depending on what departments or the area they come from in Haiti, um, they'll add like plantains. Now, I won't do that um, because my family doesn't do that, but if that's you and you do, then go right ahead. I'm just peeling the vegetables, I'm just rinsing them, and I am dicing them and setting them aside because it's much easier to work with them that way. Um, when you prep your vegetables, I think when you're preparing any kind of dish, when you prep ahead of time, it's so much easier and it takes away the stress of doing any last minute cutting and dicing. Um, so the cabbage and the macaroni are the last things that I add to the soup. And so I use rigatoni for this dish and I use just regular plain old green cabbage. And you wanna make sure that you dice it and prepare it as well. After cooking for about an hour, your meat is fully cooked. Make sure you remove your pepper poked with clove along with your bunch of parsley and thyme and set your cooked meat aside. When assembling my soup jumeau, 
Um, I like to start out with a little butter, some garlic, and some diced shallots. And I fry those things up together prior to adding in my potatoes, my yadia, my taro roots, uh, my carrots, and boiling those together. And my the water that I use for the squash that I saved, I'm going to add that to the vegetables and allow the vegetables to um, boil for about 10-15 minutes um, before adding in my blended squash. Go ahead and add in a fresh pepper poked with cloves along with a fresh bunch of parsley and thyme. I went ahead and I added two peppers, um, spicy peppers, and also go ahead and add the stock from the beef, the beef stock. You're not going to add in the actual meat yet, you're just going to add in your stock to flavor the boiling vegetables. After doing that, go ahead and add your blended squash to the soup and allow the vegetables to boil for about 20 minutes. Now your soup is almost ready, so go ahead and add in the remaining ingredients. Go ahead and add in your celery, your celery leaves, add in the meat, and also make sure to add in the cabbage along with the macaroni. Now your soup is almost ready, and you just wanna allow your macaroni to cook for about seven minutes, um, and your cabbage will take just as long to cook, and your soup should be completely ready. And you can go ahead and keep your heat low, and allow everything to cook on low heat and you can cover your pot while everything is cooking. The longer your soup cooks, the thicker it gets. So be very mindful that even while you're boiling it, it doesn't look thick. Your soup, once it stands, the squash is going to make it very thick. So be very mindful of that. After adding in your cabbage and your macaroni, allow your soup to um, cook for a tiny bit longer on low heat for about six, seven minutes up until the macaroni is ready and then your soup is all done. And there you have it guys, our soup jomo is all done. It's all prepared, I cannot wait to eat the soup. It's so delicious and so flavorful. I would love for you guys to try this recipe and let me know how it goes. Um, leave me any questions or comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. I cannot wait to eat my soup. I am so excited about this soup. It smells so good in this kitchen. I paired this soup jumeau with a Haitian traditional cremas, which is an alcoholic um, coconut beverage, usually enjoyed around the holidays, but really year round for Haitians. I also made a chocolate log cake called um, a Yule cake or a bouche de Noël, whatever you call it. This cake is so delicious. Like it's the holidays. I am not thinking about calories. I, I will also include that recipe for the cake. And so I hope you guys try everything. Leave me a like, comment, questions if you have any. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. I cannot wait to see you guys into the new year. Happy 2021. Happy holidays. Bye, guys. Until next time.